It's April 2020. Hi. Um, like probably many people, I've I've been mostly wearing my pajamas. Uh, um, for the past couple weeks, and I miss wearing clothes, like fun clothes. I have a lot of clothes that I love. Um. And I have been asked by people just like out and about to be like, where'd you get these clothes? And I'm like, oh, from the charity shop, because I can't really afford um, all the fancy clothes. Um, but charity shops are a great place to get them. Um, so I thought it would be fun to like film uh, wearing some outfits. Most of them are ones I really have worn out and about. Um, but yeah, some outfits made of my thrift clothes. Um, which are mostly from charity shops, although a couple are from Kilo Sales, which is when you can go into this dingy room in town and then they're like, you can have you can have one kilogram worth of clothes for like £15, I think. Um, so depending on what you pick, you can get quite a lot. Like if you pick just sheer shirts, um, which are all floaty, then you get loads. But if you find like a really cool coat, then it's like, that might be it. Um, I still think it's a good method and I still prefer that to just going to a vintage store. Um, I've been in vintage stores and then been like, oh good lord, this is so, so much for what it is. Um, so in general I shop in charity shops and most of the time uh, what I buy is usually under five pounds. So yeah, um, without further ado, uh, let's get into seeing uh, a goofy person, me, um, wearing clothes owned by me. Um, and I'll show you the outfit and then um, I'll show you the labels of the clothes and I'll look for where they're from because some of them are, you know, like a modern brand like from New Look or Primark or whatever um, that I just picked up in a Sue Rider um, and other ones are like made in Italy. Um, I have quite a few made in Italy, you shall see. Um, so let's get into it. Outfit number one is what I slept in last night. It's got um, this light blue t-shirt of Mickey and Minnie Mouse um, on a little date and then some shorts. They're like made of a fluffy fabric and it's also Mickey and Minnie but just their faces. And a bathrobe, a floral one. It says on the label that it's Victoria's Secret which as we know is a lingerie brand from 1977. Um, I don't know whether or not it really is Victoria's Secret. I think Victoria's Secret is a bit like saucier than this but I think it's great. Um, and then the shorts and the t-shirt are both from, I assume, the Disney store, or if not the Disney store, then, you know, the Disney clothing brand. Um, and the shorts, I imagine, are newer than the t-shirt is. The t-shirt I got from a vintage store, air quotes. Um, but the shorts were just from a charity shop. Outfit number two, our model, me, is frantically trying to tuck in, uh, tuck in the old shirt there. Um, this is an outfit I wore once to Regent's Park Zoo in London. Um, the, the, the trousers I've always called my prison pants. Um, they're amazing, like orange corduroy trousers. And then just a cool floral shirt I found. Um, I think orange is one of the greatest colours in the world. And this is totally a fave look for me. Um, the shirt says it's from a brand called Just Class. Um, India... India garments. Um, I could not find anything looking it up. It has no internet history. You know, I just, I can't find Just Class anywhere. Um, but the jeans are Muschino jeans, which when I look for, you know, you type in Muschino jeans, you see people charging like 300 quid. Um, these were from Bernardo's and I think they cost me maybe three pounds. Next one is an artist outfit, I'm going to call it. Uh, a quirky artist because we've got a bow tie on. Uh, the jeans come with paint stains. The jumper is from a scope um, where my boyfriend lives, Scope's charity shop. And the the jeans here, um, I looked for the label, but there is nothing on there. The label was cut off before I even got them. So who knows? Who knows where they're from? But the shirt, the orange shirt, which looks brown here, um, is from Wrangler, which is apparently a... Ooh, 1947 jeans brand? I'm obviously, this is from now on. The cardigan says Nicolucci free, which I couldn't find, but Nicolucci seems like it could be Italian. So I assume Italian? The bow tie says Thomas Nash. Uh, according to Google, Thomas Nash is a menswear suit brand. 
um, and it's found in Debenhams, which is a department store in England. Fancy fancy. The fourth outfit is a classic Lorraine is in uni kind of an outfit, um, featuring a floral granny shirt, a stripy t-shirt, and then some plaid tartan blue sort of wool pants. They're my winter blue pants, um, and I, I like to wear this light bulb necklace um, for the on-the-go rave. <laughs> um, the, the shirt says compliments, but when I, I look for compliments as a clothing brand, it's really hard to find. A lot of people have their own indie label. Um, the t-shirt is Atmosphere, which is a Primark label, and it's definitely, like, gotta be from the 2010s, this. The blue trousers are from a brand called Stefanel, and they say they're all about casual and elegant Italian clothing and accessories. Outfit number five is pretty goofy. Uh, these chili pants I've loved forever, this t-shirt of these guys golfing, I, like, got it from my sister. Um, and the sports jacket's a bit shiny, it's not that waterproof. The hat says Sunny Breaks. It cost me 50p. Um, the, the shirt is from a brand called, um, Pancaldi and B, which currently, again, seems to be menswear and suits. It was established in 1949, but this is probably 80s. The trousers are from New Chef Fashion Incorporated, apparently established in 1989. They do chef uniforms to this day, but they don't look this cool. I haven't seen chili pants on their site. Um, then the jacket is from Adidas. It's hard to see, but we all know Adidas, it's sportswear. <laughs> For my fifth look, uh, I'm going with, is this an ego look shrug? You know how people be wearing sleeves under t-shirts again and it's like, yeah, emo is back. Uh, but it's e-girl and e-boy now. E-person. That's me. Um, the t-shirt is my favourite thing. I found it in a thrift shop in the Philippines um, and it says Carcassonne, which uh, is apparently a French city um, and also a game. Um, the brand itself is Alma Mater, which says it's it, uh, Indian. Um, so an Indian brand made a t-shirt of some French medieval people. It's great. The The t-shirt underneath actually has these cat faces on, um, and it is definitely children's wear. It actually says on it, uh, Mountain Warehouse Kids. And then the trousers um, are by Willie Smith. And when I first bought them, I thought it was Will Smith. I just rolled with it. I was like, yeah, Will Smith made some big blue trousers. Summer. For my last outfit, it's all about this cardigan. It's amazing. It says art. It also says um, mod, as you can see in the top there. It's covered in beads. Uh, it's got like Harlequin psychedelic. It's just nuts and I love it like no other thing. The cardigan says that it is made by Adrienne Vitadini, which I thought was Italian, but is apparently Hungarian. Um, and the... I mean, her, her, her label was established, I think, in the, yeah, in the, in the late 70s. This looks pretty 80s. It had shoulder pads. I took them out. The top, I didn't want to distract from the Cardi, so it's literally just a new look, like, vest top. Um, new look, English clothing brand. Um, and the trousers just say Joseph, which to me says that this Joseph guy has a real ego. Um, yeah. Okay, that's all the clothes. Um, I hope if you watched this and you were like, oh, I'm enjoying these uh, funny little clothes, um, that maybe it would, if you don't already shop in charity shops, uh, maybe tempt you to look. Um, it's not guaranteed that you'll find something good every time. I, in normal life, you know, when we're not like now life, um, in normal life, I usually go every week into, um, uh, into town. And um, just go in every shop and look, see what I can find. It's not, it's not like there'll always be something good, but sometimes there is. And I think the trick to finding it is to go a lot. Um, it's like my main form of leaving the house, just to go cherry shopping. Um, but I think it's a really good thing. I know people these days are like trying to think of ways that they can maybe uh, limit themselves on like the fast fashion industry. Um, which is totally valid, um, because it is bad, and I think when you buy from a charity shop, um, you're basically doing nothing but good. Like, you're finding yourself something cool um, to wear that you might not have found anywhere else, and it's helping people. Because um, charity shops, you know, they, they're they not keeping the profits. Um, yes. So that's my, uh, that's my suggestion. Um, for the future, when we can all go back outside, charity shops. Um, thank you for watching if you made it this far. Um, I hope it was enjoyable.
and goodbye. I broke my tripod just after finishing filming all of the clothes, so I don't know what I'm gonna do next time I need a tripod. Yay! Bye.